Hello there. I am Asim Rajpanda and I am going to present about the queries in Microsoft Access. Let's view our contents first. Our contents are Introduction to queries Uses of queries Types of queries And creating queries Let's begin with the introduction of queries. A query is an object of Microsoft Access that asks any question to our database. Queries can retrieve and display information stored in a single table or multiple linked tables by being based on some specific criteria. It can also be used to change some components of our database. Query is also known as die set of a table. Now, let's talk about the uses of queries. The uses of queries are To retrieve and display records of a table or multiple like tables. To sort records of a table. To change a large volume of data easily. And to perform mathematical calculations on selected records. Now, let's have a look at the types of queries. The types of queries are Action Query And Delete Query Update Query, Append Query, and Delete Query falls under the category of Action Query. Now, let's have a look at Select Query. It is a query in which some data from a table is selected and displayed as per user's choice. All of the data or part of the data can be selected using Select Query. Select Query can not change our data but can perform addition, subtraction, calculating average, etc. Now, let's discuss about Action Query. It is a query used to perform some type of action in the database. It can change the data of our database. It can delete, add, and update our data. Action Query has subtypes unlike Select Query. Let us now have a look at the types of Action Query. Delete Query It is used to delete records slash records from a table slash tables. Update Query It is used to make change to large number of records. Append Query it is used to add records slash records into a table slash tables or to transfer the data of a table to another table. Now, let's learn how to create a select query in Microsoft Access. To create a select query, follow the following steps. Step 1. Create a table with the required data you want for the query. Step 2. Click on Create tab. Step 3. Click on Query Wizard option. Select Simple Query Wizard and click OK. Step 4. Select the table of which you want to create a query. Also, select the fields you want to include. Clicking on the single greater than or less than sign will select or remove selected field respectively and clicking on the double greater than or less than sign will select or remove all the fields respectively. Here, we are including all fields. Then, click on Next. Step 5, click on Finish button. Our query has been created. Now, let's learn how to create an update query as a part of Action Query in Microsoft Access. To create an update query, follow the following steps. Step 1. Create a select query for the table as stated earlier. Step 2. Select Design View option. Step 3. Click on Update on the Query Type heading. Step 4. At the bottom of your screen, you will see Update to and Criteria. Update to just means what to change and Criteria means the thing to be met for the data to be met. Here, we are adding 100 marks to those who secured less than 10 in computer. So, type plus 100 in Update to and type less than 10 in Criteria. Step 5. Click on Run. You will get a box stating how many rows will be affected. Click OK. Now, let's learn how to create an append query as a part of Action Query in Microsoft Access. To create an append query, follow the following steps. Step 1. Create a select query of the table whose data you want to transfer to another table. Step 2. Click on Design View option. Step 3. Click on Append on the Query Type heading. Step 4. You will get a dialog box asking where you want to transfer the data. Select the table where you want to transfer your data on the table name option in the append to option. 
Click on OK. Step 5. In the Append to option at the bottom of your screen, you can select in which field you want to transfer the data from the original table. We will transfer the data of each field to the field having same name in the next table. Step 6. Click on Run. You will get a warning stating how many rows will be transferred. Click on OK. Step 7. Refresh the table where you have transferred the data. Now, let's learn how to create a delete query as a part of Action Query in Microsoft Access. To create a delete query, follow the following steps. Step 1. Create a select query for the table as stated earlier. Step 2. Select Design View option. Step 3. Click on Delete on the Query Type heading. Step 4. At the bottom of your screen, you will see Criteria. Type the criteria which, if met, you want the record to be deleted. Here, we are deleting the records of students who scored more than 100 in science. So, type greater than 100 in criteria. Step 5. Click Run. A dialog box will appear saying how many records will be affected. Click on OK. Thank you.